we hosted a thousand students from across 10 districts, over 100 teachers, and worked together with 20 industries from across, again, the 10 districts. And that was a very significant happening. It was a pilot, but it was also a very significant milestone in the education chapter of the country because as a country, we are currently implementing what's called the competency-based curriculum. And we're very keen to ensure that our students do not just get the theory, but actually are able to relate what they're learning, understand it, but also relate how it is applied in day-to-day -day lives. The basis of having this is thinking about science and business. When science and business come together, the result is outstanding because no decision is made without data. No decision is made out of the blue. And so you increase profitability of your organization. Through uh, industry visit and by using examples from there, I think the teaching and the learning processes is going to be improved. I've seen that there is a gap between industry and business and uh, the academia. In academics, you have, uh, you have good ideas. You have the potential just uh, to help industries develop uh, new products, improve their services, improve their, prof their profitability. I've, I've received uh, students from age 12 to age around 16, 17. But what I've seen is for, from them, they are, I can say they are young, but uh, they are advanced, they have knowledge, they have good ideas. In my design and development of new products, I can use uh, their skills. Before you get strong internships, you have to really have strong education planning. Uh, any, any plan that does not include uh, industries that create jobs is going to be a failing plan. So education planning is very important. One of the things that we saw and we're concerned about or we are passionate about is the issue of equity. How do we ensure the students from all backgrounds actually access quality education? But also, how do we empower them to, to live within their context? Because they all learn in different contexts. And one of the things we have begun and helped them to do is to create village study groups so that Saturday and Sunday could be a learning session. Because then that's what their counterparts in boarding school are doing. 